So we're gonna talk about X factor. It's a metric that measures the separation between the pelvis and the chest. Basically, when we think about stretch and we're creating stretch, a lot of times we think about how much separation we can create between the pelvis and the upper part of our body. When we first started looking at hitting biomechanics, because there were other sports that were a little bit ahead of us, golf, baseball pitching. And in those sports, we, we sort of know that more is more, right? When we create more stretch, we think about a rubber band effect and we really pull that rubber band really wide and tight. And then as we snap it, we get a lot of power. We applied that concept a little bit uh, sort of prematurely thinking that that applied to hitting. And we thought at first we want to get more stretch, right? So we might have seen a lot of drills where people took things like PVC pipes and we were going here and we were really stretching as much as we can and we were starting to teach that more is more. This is a drill that a lot of my hitters did a few years ago. And then when we looked at their swing, what we were seeing is a big separation, yes, uh, but when we thought of the part that really matters, which is how do we get to the ball, right? And how do we get our bat to the ball? A lot of our athletes were having trouble closing that gap. So we were getting here and then that bat now was dragging behind. They were never closing that bat and they were late to a lot of things, or they made decisions too early and they were making bad swing decisions. And so we started wondering, is more more? So we have to create a pattern that we can start and then be adjustable to different speeds, different locations, different break. And so when this concept of trying to create as much stretch as possible, it doesn't really apply to hitting. We wanna set up our swing so that as we're coming to land in the toe down that our pelvis is initiating that rotation. And so there will be some separation here because we know if everything went together, what that's gonna do to our bat path, right? Or if we have nothing, we're gonna have trouble getting power off. Usually when we see hitters that land totally closed and they haven't started anything, they're either gonna rip with their hands, they're gonna pull with their chest, they're gonna to have to generate that power from an inefficient place. And so yes, for X Factor, we want some separation, but the Next question we wanna ask ourselves is, can the hitters get to a good impact point? Can they get their barrel on a good path? Sort of close that gap, right? So can the pelvis and chest be close to zero impact? Meaning that they were able to close the gap that they created in time to make good contact with the ball. And so we're gonna look here at, in a second at Katie, one of our hitters, and she has a pretty big X factor, right? We're getting close to 30 degrees at when her foot comes down. But the most important part that you'll see is that we'll then forward all the way to point of impact and make sure that that contact point is good, that she's adjustable to the ball and that she closes that gap. And for her, she's really strong. And so she's able to do that. And so we wouldn't make a correction on that, but that's something that you really want to understand about this metric. All right, so we're going to look at Katie here um, and shoulder angle, pelvis angle, X factor. As we talked about X factor is sort of the separation Sometimes people might think of this as how we get stretch, right, between those two segments. Um, and so Katie's a good example of what I would call a little bit of an outlier. So Katie's someone who hits the ball extremely hard. This hit in particular is an exit below of 79, which is pretty elite um, for someone in high school. And she really gets a lot of X factor. So what we'll see here is, you know, as she's just sort of doing a little bit of a weight transfer, as she shifts forward, so you'll see I would call this, you know, pretty significant counter rotation of the shoulder at almost 25 degrees here, um, but she doesn't get any more as she goes forward. So I think that's the first important thing to notice is that she gets a little, you know, a couple degrees more, but the biggest thing that happens as she starts to shift her center of mass towards the pitcher is that she coils up that pelvis a little bit more. So she's loading that pelvis. And then what we want to see is really X factor and where we measure X factor is at this heel strike position. So as I'm coming into rotation, how much separation do I have between my shoulder and my pelvis? If we've loaded up right into heel strike and we've gotten our body in a good position, our pelvis is gonna lead that rotation. So we're gonna start seeing our pelvis work back to the pitcher. Um, and so you'll see that Katie here gets up to an X factor close to 30. This is a lot. In hitting, we're a very reactionary sport or it's a reactionary skill. And so we have to be able to close that. So where, when we first started getting excited about this concept of separation and hitting, we might've thought more is more. We're just gonna keep trying to get more and more and more separation. Just like we talked about before, kind of thinking about that as a rubber band effect. But the problem is hitting is reactionary. It has to happen in a very short time window. So if we're thinking 
you know, a very elite uh, softball pitcher is landing at like 35 feet from the hitter and she's throwing close to 70 miles per hour. We're talking about a very, very short window that we have to be able to get our power off. And so the thing about that we want to look at as X Factor is both what is that number at this point and then what happens with it. And so the, the key thing to notice for Katie is that maybe we would say, oh, that's a lot. I don't know if we're going to you know, want that much separation at the point. But the thing about Katie is that she's very strong. If we look at this point of contact, this is a great point of contact. It's out front. It's not that she's laid on the ball. If we looked at her spray chart, we would see that she's definitely capable of hitting to all fields. And you'll see that she closed that. So if we see all of a sudden that you know, number that was close to 30, by point of impact is already close to zero. So because Katie can close that window in a very, very short time period, this isn't something we would address in her training. If anything, it's an advantage she has uh, to be able to get that much separation. And we're not gonna touch it because she closes it at a good contact point out front. Um, and so this is something that we wouldn't necessarily address for her, but it's something to understand the full story of X Factor.